Hello friends, this is Jeannie from Metal Dollhouse Rescue and I'm back and we're going to look at my tin soldier. I've got a few things to share with you and we're going to start painting. So let's uh, look at it as a reminder about what... Here it is, it's got some rust spots we're going to address. I've done some sanding, I got the rust off as, as much as I could to make it um, level to touch and there's grandma keeping an eye on us. She wants to make sure we do the right thing about her house. I want to I want you to know I kept the rag I used to wipe up the rust dust last night after I dusted it off. And you can see a lot of rust dust came off of there. So that was a good move to do. And I used uh, alcohol on my paper towel to wipe that up. Um, I also made sure I had it cleaned really good. And I do want to give a shout out. Somebody recommended this. I want to think it was Nancy in our group. Um, and I went ahead and I couldn't resist last night and I opened this up and I ran over this house with one of these um, Armor All interior detailer wipes. And I was surprised to see, um, I thought I kept that white but I'm not seeing it here. But um, I was surprised to see that uh, it took a little more dirt off. I thought I had this house clean, but it did take a little bit of, a little bit more dirt off. And I do think it left a little bit of a shine. So I am very happy with that product, and I will use that probably on all my dollhouses going forward as I clean them. Okay, I was also going to give you a, just a little lesson about taking these houses apart. They're not that hard to take apart. All you have to do is pry up on the little prongs, the little tabs. And I have started to loosen these, but I'm going to take this wall off. I think I told you I'm going to photograph it um, for one of our members. But here's how to get it off. Take a, a butter knife or a very flat screwdriver and work under there and then push up on it. Now, I've already kind of loosened these. Um, you have to be careful when you do it because as you push and push and try to get this under here, you don't want your knife to slip and then you go like that and then you make a nice scratch on your dollhouse that wasn't there before. So just try to get under it and then lift up. Once you get them started, I can usually get my fingers under there and lift it a little more. And if you can't, then you could use like a needle nose pliers and poke under there and just lift that up a little bit more. Now, I try not to unbend them more than necessary. This one's probably loose enough to actually get that wall off now. I've loosened that one and that one. And we talked before about you might not want to make those tabs real tight if you think there's ever a chance that you'll want to take your house apart because you don't want to be bending and unbending and bending and unbending those. So, and I know I'm going to take that wall off. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to take this whole house apart after I get it ready to go. All right, there's Grandma ready to watch us, and we've had a little lesson on taking it off. Um, this, I've got the roof ready to come off. When it, whenever I'm ready for that, it can lift right off. Then I can get this wall off. I'm going to have to loosen these little tabs back in here to get that off so I can photograph that. But first, let's get it painted. I've got my palette here. Tonight, the colors I'm using are yellow, white, this is blue. I got a new thing of blue out. Uh, my blue I was using before. Um, I felt like when it when I put white with it, I'd get kind of a country blue rather than a pale blue. So I got this out of my paint box. It's also acrylic paint, but I think it's a little more truer blue than that one I was using before. I've got a little dab of red. I've got brown in case I need it, and I've got some black. So I've already tried to start to mix this yellow. All I used was uh, quite a bit of yellow and a little bit of red because we're going to work on this kitchen first. And I've done a little spot test, and I think the color is pretty close to right. But if the color isn't right, don't be concerned because you're going to do multiple layers, and as you do multiple layers, you can adjust that color and lighten it up as you go. I'm going to put a drop of water in here that I got out of my water glass and thin that down just a little bit. I want that to be a little thinner because I want to do a thin coat on here. But I think this color is pretty good. Now it's going to darken up a little bit as it dries. But as I said, you're going to do multiple coats, so don't be concerned if you don't have an exact match the first time. There's some scratches here I'm going to go ahead and cover. I did not sand those. They were not rusty. They were not real rough to the touch. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the first coat. And as we get a little, um, as we go on, we'll get a little better blend on the color. You know me, I like to touch it with my fingers, smooth it out a little bit. It looks just a little bit too yellow. It doesn't look bad in person, but I can see on camera it looks a little too yellow. We might add a teens of white with that when we do another coat. Okay, let's go to the back corner and do the same thing back there. 
Um, there was quite a little bit of rust back there. I had to do quite a little bit of sanding. Um, but it's um, I've got that rust removed. So now I'm just going to my palette to get some yellow. Then I'm going to go back there. I'm going to try to paint just on the floor. Because this uh, up here where it's white on the wall, I'm going to try to put some white paint up there. Since I am going to take this house apart, I may do that after I take it apart. Now, many of these houses, not the Wolverine, which I just worked on, but many of these Marks houses back here have a, like a groove in the floor. You can see it right there. It's a little indent. And I think that's for stability. Um, and in this case, there was some rust along in that little groove. So that little groove is going to get painted with yellow. Um, it looks like there's a blue detail line here that I might have to repair after I get this painted. I might have to replace that blue detail line. But right now we're just going to do our first coat of yellow back there in far deep into the house. Come over to my palette. Check out Grandma. Hmm. She's still a little worried, but she's waiting patiently to see how it comes out. It's already looking better. We're going to get that little groove filled in. We'll come back and put some blue on that later if we want to. And we're going to come back and put white up there on the wall. On the baseboard there. In the meantime, we're getting a good start on getting a coat of paint on that yellow. On that rusty area. Since this front has dried a little bit, let's go ahead and do another coat on that. I am going to go ahead and take a little bit of my white and put in this yellow, this yellow that I was using. Just lighten that up a teens for the next coat. Again, you're better to do several light coats rather than to try to do it all at once. You'll have a much better color match, much less brush strokes. And it's going to take several colors to cover up that bare metal there. Several coats, I meant to say, to cover up that bare spot. Let's come back here. We're going to put another coat of that little bit lighter yellow back in the very far corner. Again, it's going to take probably three or four thin coats of paint to cover that up to make that look good. And to make that smooth and look nice. Come over here to the palette, get some of that same paint. Well, I think about it, I want to tell you about this marker here on the end. I tried three or four products and I cannot get this marker to come off. And remember, anytime you use liquid on your house, if that liquid's on there very long, it will actually make your paint start to buckle up and then it will flake off. So um, I just used a damp paper towel. I tried Goof Off. I tried Goo Gone. I tried uh, fingernail polish remover. I tried those armor strips. I've tried rubbing alcohol. That uh, Formula 9 or whatever it's called, that cleaner, I tried that. So I've tried a number of cleaners on there and I just think that's not going to come off. So what we're going to do on that is... Um, probably when I get the, the white pick, painted up or if it mixed up a little bit of off-white we'll just touch that up with off-white paint so that will look just as good as it can look. Back here I'm just seeing a little tiny rest there along the edge. we we'll just touch that up as we go. Since this is going to have to take several coats I might have to stop and let this dry a little bit. After I sanded, 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 I wiped it off with my paper towel that had been sprayed in rubbing alcohol to get the rust dust off of there. Now there's a rust spot here in the middle of the floor, right there. We're just going to go ahead and touch that up the same way. I just like to tap, tap, tap on those spots. So it's looking a little better. It's going to take another coat. Come up here and do another quick coat. 
Okay, that's going to take another couple of coats. So I am, I think first I'm going to um, print, I'm going to mix up a little more of this yellow so you can watch me mix it up. It takes quite a bit more yellow than red. So there's my dab of yellow. Here I'm just going to use a little bit of this diluted red off to the side. Just takes a little damp, a little bit of, a little dab of red to make that orangey color. There we go. And then remember last time I put a dot of white in there. So there's my dot of white. After I get um, this yellow, didn't get two or three coats of yellow on there, I'm going to mix up some white and some black and put a light coat of light gray here. You can maybe see the pattern here is uh, like a speckled pattern over a light gray. So first I'm gonna paint that light gray, just those rusty areas, I'll paint them solid, light gray. Same way with up here. And then I'll come back and add some speckle pattern to make that match. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this off camera because I don't think you need to see me paint like five or six coats of yellow on there and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I will get back to you. Grandma says, see you all later. And I say, see you later too.